And hello everyone. Welcome to tutorial on how to use S Modder Z. Before we get started, S Modder Z is a simple way to manage your mods. I want the Planet Tuffle, okay. I want Fantastic Mod, okay. I want these Strangable Abridged Voices, okay. I want to play with my friends, so I need to disable everything. Easy, quick, and just like that. Now, before we get started, I need you to do one thing for me. If you have not yet installed any mods previously on Sparking Zero, this is your first time installing mods, I very, very highly recommend following this tutorial. The link will be in the description. This will give you a basic overview of how to install mods and where the mods go, because you will need to install mods such as, such as UE4SS and the UTOC Signature Bypass. These are both ones I install in this tutorial, so I highly recommend you follow it. These are not managed by the mod manager yet, so you will need to manually add them first. Once you have done that, we can get started. Now, take note, I'm on a Linux system. The tutorial will stay the same pretty much everywhere except for this one part. If you're on Linux, make sure to go to Properties and then add this. I'll add this to the description as well. This right here allows mods to be enabled without any issues. Also for compatibility reasons, I am using Proton version 9 here, but experimental and any other version should work fairly fine. But if you're having trouble, Proton version 9 is the way to go. Cool, now it's for both systems. You probably want to install it from Nexus mods. Now there are two files, so you need to take note. One is for Windows, smodder Z, and the other one is for Linux, smodder Z, Linux. Same here with if you're on GitHub. If you're on GitHub, then there is a Linux version and a Windows version. Choose carefully which one you want. If you don't know which one you need, you need Windows. You can just download that. I've already downloaded it. So here we go. In my downloads folder, there's smodder Z. You should see something like this if you downloaded it from Nexus Mods. If you download it from GitHub, you should see a cleaner file name. Anyways, we can just open that up, say extract, extract. If you're on Windows, it will be right click extract. Then it will produce a folder like this. Just go into that folder. And here we have the smodder application. Take note, do not delete these two directories right here. They are very important. They are needed by Flutter to run this executable. Same with it if you're on Windows, don't delete anything that's here. These mods directory was just generated when I opened up smodder Z. Your mods will go into logic and regular. It's important that you know where which goes. So let's go to Steam, manage, manage, browse local files. Now here, if you go into Sparking Zero, Mods, this right here, that is regular. And let's put them next to each other. So regular, that would be this right here. You'll see smodlib is, or smodlib is installed here. That will be your regular mods. And then inside of content, packs, logic mods, that will be your logic mods. You don't need to worry about these directories, but you do need to know the difference because when you install a mod, that mod will probably in its description say where you need to install it to. And it's either logic mods or the regular mods. If it's the regular mods, it goes to regular. If it's a logic mod, it goes into logic. Once you know that, you never have to really open up that other mod folder anymore. So you just have these two, which is inside of the smod.z directory. Now first, just say check mods. If you're getting this error right here, that means your sparking zero is pointing to the wrong directory. Since I'm on Linux, this is a Windows directory, so it doesn't exist. I'll need to set the installation path. And to find this path, you need to go to Steam, say Manage, Browse Local Files, and you want this directory right here. Now you could go through the process of going here, okay, so slash var, home, bazi.local, and now you need to go here and say, okay, so we need to find var, Here's var, home, 
Bazite, and then you need to go through find.local, all of that. I don't like doing that. So what I am going to do is right here, this works on Windows as well. Right click, copy. On Windows, it might say something like copy path or something. And then just make sure you have this right here. And if you enter that, it should automatically find it for you. And let me just say show hidden files and try that again. There we go. I just had to say show hidden files, but now it found it for me. If you're on Windows, you'll just need to follow that path that's up here until you get to that location if you don't have the copy paste option. But it's fairly simple. Once you find it, make sure you select this one right here and not the sparking zero inside of it. This is the incorrect directory. You want to be at the top one. Once you're here, you just say, okay, you say, check mods. If this is like this, then you're good. Now what you need to do is you need to add mods to regular and logic. I already have a mods folder here, which has a bunch of mods for me. So let's just put that on the side and you here. Now here with regular and logic, I'm just going to throw it in here. Say move here. And I'm going to just merge the two files. Actually, I didn't want to move it. I wanted to copy it, but there we go. And this contains all my mods. If you go into regular, you'll see there's Bardock Forms, Guinea, Fantastic, possibly the best mod. And if you go into Logic, you'll see there's a bunch of mods here as well, including like two times two HP mods and voice acting mods. Once you have that, you just say check mods and it will automatically detect what is already installed and what is not. But take note, any mods that you already have installed, they will now always be installed from these directories. So if any mods needs a manual configuration, like if you add characters with that mod and you need to like edit a JSON file, please edit it in these folders because this will always overwrite whatever is in here. So this will be your new mods folder. I'm going to enable Planet Tuffle as well as Pantastic and then just enable all of my packs here. Also, uh, just as note, I'm going to enable Zero Spark here. Otherwise, my Pantastic mod will not work. So let's run that and try again. Now here we can see we have Planet Tuffle. That is good. So that means this mod is working. And here we can see I can find this Bulma and Chi Chi. So this is part of the Zero Spark mods. And here are all of my pans as well. I'm going to go as a pan Super Saiyan 3. And let's see, does our times 2 HP mod work, which is a puck mod that we have installed. So that will confirm that the puck mods work. And as you can see, we both have a ton of HP and that is thanks to the mod. And as simple as that, that is how you use the mod manager to install mods. And thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next tutorial.